Hi, welcome to the Battle Systems tutorial video for the bunker set um, extra components. Uh, basically, what we're going to be covering um, is um, the half pod, okay, um, the blast door, the um, external strut for the bunker, and also the generator unit here as well. Um, so, what I'd like to do first is basically I'm going to go straight into the um, the generator unit which is the more complicated of the units and then we'll ease ourselves out with these other ones here so I'm just going to move these bits and pieces out of the way first first of all starting with the generator unit um, <clears throat> what we've got here um, with the generator unit you've actually got a couple of options um, you've got kind of like an easy build whereby um, and I've already pre-cut this but you cut this out and you these bits here you leave actually in um, um, and also these bits here which are kind of the, um, the, which make up kind of the walls for the, to support this unit here, this little sort of like, if you like, sort of cone pyramid type shape. Um, this, um, you can basically leave this as it is with all these pieces intact. Um, and what it means, it's very easy to build. You just put the thing together, stick it on here, and you drop this on top and it makes the unit. Um, what I'm actually gonna do here on this video um, is show you how to do it um, if you like the, the full build which means cutting out all these little bits here so these little bits here I've pre-cut out um, and these are actually going to be recessed back to give it more depth to give it more detail um, including this little bit here as well um, what that means is that on these supports which kind of make up the, the shape if you like which is kind of this kind of shape instead of just sticking it around the top you've got this recess here as well and so all these little bits need to be popped out and actually these bits just get discarded so um, we'll get rid of those and so you're left with it like this also you've got these bits here because you're going to be taking these out you need something to sort of back it up with um, which means you'll also be cutting out these parts here um, and this this one's actually got another little recess on it so I'm going to pop that out as well so there's all your bits and pieces and again, because you're doing this um, and having this recessed out, you're also going to have all these little um, these little offcuts, which um, which will um, which are all sort of measured up on the sheet for you as well. So yeah, that makes this a lot more complicated build. So you can either go for the easy build, which is really pretty easy, um, or you can go for this complicated build. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do the complicated build, um, and one of the first things we're going to do is stick some of these components down. So I'm just going to pop off to the side everything that I'm not going to use at the moment. Going to do we're just going to pop each one of these one onto here onto here onto here this one goes onto here um, and this little one here kind of goes onto here now when you stick these down what you're going to get you're going to get a little sort of you want to stick them in the middle they'll go right up to the ends on either side oops but you'll get a nice little white spot at the bottom and at the top um, and that's just an area for you to glue so you can glue it onto the back of each of these pieces here this one here you get a white spot all the way around so get it as neat as you possibly can um, and uh, yeah very carefully going to glue those onto there so I'm going to go ahead and do that first now what we want to do now is we want to be able to put each of these parts under each of these so, um, as an example, we take this, um, this one here, um, and we pick up one of these. This will glue behind. Now this is too big, it won't fit in the hole. Um, and that's what this little top white strip and bottom white strip's for. It's so that we've got a surface to glue to. Um, and when you pop that in there like that, it will basically sit like so. Um, so we're going to want to do that. Now you'll notice on here that we've got we've got two two here with a wide piece on either side, and we've got two here with a very thin piece. Okay. Now that doesn't affect the gluing of these, but it will do when you put this whole thing together. And we've got to make sure that we get it so that this fits over the top in the right way. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to glue each one of these behind just putting a little bit of glue on each of the white strips there um, behind so that they glue onto here. Okay. 
So that's those four there done. Last but not least, this one here that's got the recess in it, you're going to edge glue around here and just pop that on there as well. So you've got like an even bigger recess for that part there. There we go. And that's that fully recessed off. Okay, so all we've really got to do now is, is kind of put the whole thing together. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to ignore these parts here for the moment. We're basically going to put this together as a shell. So, um, whoa, skeleton or whatever you want to call it. Um, you've got your two parts with your wide strips at the side and you've got your two parts with your narrow strips. What we want to make sure is that the narrow strip here goes underneath the wide strip. Okay, narrow strip, wide strip, and it doesn't go like this, it goes underneath like this. Okay, um, and then basically we're just gonna build it all together. So you're basically gonna end up with this kind of shape here. Not very well done at the moment. And then we're gonna pop that on top when we're done, and stick that round the, to the top. Okay, so let's get on and do that. Sometimes what might happen, if you're a little bit a little bit sort of sometimes these little bits here might just be a little bit just sort of touching or rubbing what you can always do this isn't this one isn't too bad actually what you can always do is just take your scalpel here um, and just cut off like bevel just bevel the backs across here now that they're stuck down it'd be really easy to do just bevel across the back do the same here being careful not to cut the the uh, under part. And that'll just aid that fit there a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing this thing together. Basically, and this is a uh, pre-scored. Um, I probably suggest maybe leaving this to sort of dry for a little bit. Um, the next thing really is to to kind of uh, get this glued onto here. So I'm just going to fold this out properly. thing we want to do oops, stuff on there, is um, we just want to pop this little uh, cut out piece here on the top of here so I'm just going to edge glue oops, around the inside of here on the uh, internal support area okay now Apart from these parts here, where you can see the white card still, that's the pot finished with all its recesses. What I have got over here are all your um, all your parts which you're going to use to fill in the gaps. So, for example, you can see here a recess. So, what you do, you just pop this little bit in here. Um, you sort of trim these as you need it. Oops. Pop that in there, and I can see that that's just a trifle too long on that side. That'll do it, and you drop that in there with a little with a little touch of glue. So I'll just do that one. Quickly. So that's one bit down. Now you can't see the card there. Uh, basically, you just go around and do the ones at the bottom, the ones at the top. Now that I've, I've supplied ones for the top as well. Um, they're not really noticeable. Um, but you can put those in as well. But the side ones are noticeable here and here, so they're all on there anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and um, put all those on. Uh, 
and uh, I'll do that now. is your generator unit and I've uh, basically just uh, popped the little pieces uh, all the way around here um, and as that's, that's it that makes your uh, generator unit with the recesses and the double recess so uh, that's that one done on to the next ones now everything else is going to be a doddle compared to this okay next we're going to talk about the external struts that's these parts here that you can kind of add to the side to make kind of these ridges to the uh, external sort of supports or uh, parts, whatever you want to call them. Um, <coughs> and that's all you need for this, again, all pre-cut out. Now when you do cut out, it might look like the line is a bit wonky here, um, but it's not. It's actually a straight line and it dips in just a little bit um, and on each side and the, the, the internal support kind of follows that and um, that's because at the bottom of here you've got a raised piece an extra um, you know like a, like the extra extra something on the front um, to give it that 3d effect and it's just to take account uh, for that so it sits over the top okay again these are all cut up and everything um, beveled and everything as as needed um, what I haven't done actually is uh, scored across the top of here so I'm going to score one, two, three lines on here quickly. Okay so that's uh, that um, done a bit through. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to check that these parts here fit snugly. So, all I'm going to do then is um, I'm basically going to uh, stick this together. Now you've got a, a bevel on one side of here, um, that's going to sit downwards, so you want that on the inside. Um, these ones I guess it doesn't really matter but they can be on the outside, so I'm going to glue one onto here first. Then you've got this little internal support, which just uh, spacer if you like it just goes on there just pop that on there quickly then this last side up cool. that's nice and solid um, and as always it's worth doing quite a few of them in the row in a row and letting them all dry fully um, before you put this over the top but basically that just fits over the top there um, as usual I'm going to uh, Take no notice of my own instructions, and I'm just going to glue this straight on the outside. And that's it. That's that um, done and dusted. Um, and again, you can add these that to the front of this, oh, many as you want, across the building. So that's that. Right, blast door. Now this really is identical to the um, the blast door for the um, foundation set. So um, really simple. We're going to glue this piece onto here, which is the uh, the base, um, and basically the two sides onto the. Uh, the internal support. Once that's done you've got a little recess in here which then fits over the top. Nice and simple. Do that now. Carefully move 
move that to one side, but that is basically your blast door done. Okay, so last but not least is the, the half pod. Now I'm not actually going to show you how to build this because I've already showed you how to build it with the bunker standard pod video. Um, so really uh, I'm just going to basically show you that it's exactly the same. Um, the only difference is it's, it's, it's half, the, half the width if you like. Your pod base is half the width. Your side supports and internal supports are exactly the same. So what you're going to do is you're going to have two internal supports inside on the two lines here. You're going to have your side supports either side. And that becomes your base. What you're not going to need, um, you're really not going to need the, um, I guess you could put one in there. You're not going to need this extra support that goes at the front because you haven't got the width for it. Um, and vice versa, on the other side, around here, you're not going to need this extra little support here um, because you've already got the supports with the internal supports. Everything's so close together. Um, it's got no, it's got no um, recess on the front here, so you're not going to need any of these little kind of um, bolsters or anything like that. Um, and that's it. Once that base is put together, all you do is you score this up and cut, etc. Exactly the same as the other video. Um, and last but not least, you edge glue it over the top to give you your um, give you your, your, your uh, half half pod. Okay. There we go. Thanks very much for watching the um, tutorial video um, for the accessories for the bunker set. Um, that's it. Over to you and uh, happy gaming.